As uh, family members and curious onlookers gathered at the Grove Magistrates Court on Friday morning, where Kelvin Entwine made his first appearance following the death of Costly Bahari on Christmas Day. Details from Trisha Rubin. <laughs> Child, he won't come. Oh God! I, I want me child. This was the atmosphere outside the Grove Magistrates Court on Friday morning, just hours after Kelvin and Twine was charged with murder by intent. Members of the Bihari family openly expressed their grief following the fatal shooting of their loved one, Costly Bihari, on Christmas Day. Bihari was shot following an altercation. Kelvin and Twine was charged with murder around 7 o'clock on Friday morning and then made his first appearance at the Guav Magistrate's Court three hours later. The case is being presided over by Magistrate Tamara Gill. Representing Antoine is attorney Derek Sylvester, while the prosecutor is Inspector Anselm Joseph. Magistrate Gill called all 17 witnesses for the case, but only one was present, Iris B. Harry, the mother of the deceased. Others were summoned by the magistrate to appear in the next sitting. The Black Bay resident was remanded to the Richmond Hill prison until February 1st, when he will make his second court appearance at the St. George's High Court. Family members broke down in tears following the adjournment of the case. Family members had to come to the assistance of the mother of the deceased who fainted. This observer felt that the police were somewhat lax in the yeah. manner in which they escorted the accused. Auntie, what they would I do to him, you understand? Just look out when they bring another man from inside the cell. Yeah? No handcuff, not another man hand. I mean, how could we, as human beings, stand up here and die just something like that? The Bihari family says they are waiting on the outcome of the case, and if they find that justice is not done, then they will go ahead with their plans to stage a demonstration. Trisha Ruben, GBN News.